In 2025, the highest package at IISC Bangalore was 86 lakhs per annum, while at IITs, as high as 3 crore international offers. But that's not the full story, because 80% of IISC graduates do not even sit for placements. So let's decode what these numbers really mean for your future. So every year, thousands of students ask, should I go for ISC or IIT? Both are India's best institutions, both open massive doors, but their goals are completely different. So one is built for research and discovery. The other is built for engineering and industry. So if you are a science student and you're interested in physics, chemistry, maths, or bio, and you're preparing for IAT, NEST, or JEE, then you need to know where these parts actually lead. And since I work closely with ISER or ISC students, I can tell you the truth behind the glossy placement headlines. So what kind of jobs, what kind of research, and what life looks like after the degree from IITs or ISC Bangalore. So let's get started. Hello everyone, my name is Soumya Prakash and today in this video, I'll be talking about ISC versus societies and where do science graduates really get placed after pursuing from both institutions. Both being very reputed, ISC is the number one university in India. IITs are uh, the premier institutes for industrial placements and technological education. So ISC focuses on scientists and IITs produce engineers and innovators. To be clear that ISC offers BS, MS uh, and PhD and of course MTech degrees as well. Well, IITs have B.Tech and uh, dual degree B.Tech, M.Tech and a few science related branches. IIT Madras and IIT Guwahati have uh, B.S. in uh, Medical Science and Engineering and Chemical Sciences via ISER Aptitude Test. So let me know in the comments if you did not know about that. But what have we got here is uh, the importance of this comparison first. So thousands of students ask, right? This uh, I've already mentioned. So it depends on your goal. Do you want to become a researcher or a scientist? Or do you want to go into industry and work on industry specific problems by using that science, apply those theory and earn money, uh, do startups, work for various companies, do consulting, use that physics, data science, mathematics algorithms to, uh, let's say, solve a problem as complicated, as simple as pizza delivery, or as complicated as Uber ride sharing platform, right? So that's what you can do. And both are in their top institutions and both their outcomes differ drastically. And at some point of time, both these parts actually converge after at a point of PhD. So scientists will be working on developing this, that particular algorithm and uh, engineers will be actually manufacturing that application that use that algorithm to uh, deliver your pizza, right? It's a uh, it's huge amount of mathematics at work uh, in your simple Domino's pizza delivery app or any cab ride app, right? Like Uber, Ola. So it's all mathematics and computer science in the backend, just in case you don't know. So let's take a look at a glance that uh, ISC has research, science and innovation, focuses on BS, MS, PhD. Of course, MTech is also there. Okay, and uh, near about 1400 students, average package is 27 lakhs and highest is around 65 to this year it was 86 LPA. Now, top IITs are famous for engineering, technological studies, so tech industry, PTech, uh, MSc is also there, PhD is also there. So more or less thousands, tens of thousands of students are there and uh, at least 25 to 30 is the average package for engineering and uh, science graduates are also placed in IITs with uh, 12 to 18 lakh per annum. Highest goes uh, as, you know, uh, to the range of crores, uh, international and one to 1.5 sometimes, very rarely uh, domestic companies. Okay, that's the difference that uh, IITs focus on quantity. Okay, so most of the students who are studying there, they need to get placed because they are pursuing technological study. And ISC focuses on specialization. That is the reason 70 to 80% of the students at ISC, uh, they do not worry about placements and want to go to higher studies such as MSc, PhD in India and abroad. And they do wonders actually in that. So what science students actually study? Four years BS in Physics, Chemistry, Bio, Mathematics at ISC Bangalore after class 12th. Uh, Art Material Science is also there. This is via Iser aptitude test. 
if you want to know more about that what are the colleges that give you admission via ISA aptitude test you can uh, let me know in the comments we have already made a full video on that or you can check out this video now 80% pursue MS and research fellowships after their BS now 20% of the students enter research and development sectors as well as data science tech roles and these are the people who get paid very high very generously uh, in the range of 20 to 50 LPA now people from ISC definitely they are eligible for placements and they also get paid very nicely now IITs produce BTECs mostly engineering and a very few science oriented courses uh, leading to science oriented students and 70% enter industry jobs 20% go to abroad for higher studies rest join startups research government jobs such as UPSC uh, some of them also go for MBA via CAT examination so these are some of the statistics uh, this can change year after year so this is not permanent and uh, but roughly this is a trend that has been observed for the last few years so that is the reason that ISC graduate may not be working at Google next year but they might be doing a PhD at MIT or building new quantum materials or materials at uh, companies like Shell Research which eventually will be valued much much higher in the upcoming future and five years later that same student uh, could be designing technologies that IIT engineers uh, will work on. So that's the difference between the kind of nature of work done by ISC graduates and IIT graduates and that's a long term game. Now uh, choosing which one is right for you uh, for this we can check the 2025 placement highlights this is what I've already mentioned. Top recruiters are Qualcomm, Adobe, Shell, Airbus, Texas and Instruments and uh, R&D roles 60% of the graduates occupy R&D roles 25% software data science 15 percent go for academia as well as research now this is for iits these are the some numbers and average packages if you pursue msc bsc of course is not there at isds bsc and msc is there integrated at uh, some of the iits now top recruiters are google amazon apple goldman sachs tcs research as you can see that uh, relevant companies for relevant job description are uh, uh, actively hiring for both of these institutes. So now if you don't want to uh, chase the brand names and uh, chase the outcome that you want. So let's say uh, some more outcomes and uh, this is for IISC and this is for IITs. So I hope that should be clear. Now these numbers are hidden to some extent but 50 75 percentage of number is uh, as you can see, more than 70% of ISC graduates, they go for research abroad. Now, this number is only 25% for IITs. Now, the scenario is very opposite for ISC graduates, which is more than 20% going into corporate R&D and IITs goes more than 50% in corporate R&Ds. Similarly, academia wise, ISC has a bit more in India and IITs will be a bit lesser but startups startups is where the game actually is uh, for the IITs so most of the IITs if you can see they are doing corporate some of them are going to research abroad and startups so uh, this is more or less you know just to give you an idea that what all options are possible of course uh, a few of the least options are not considered such as uh, government sector jobs and uh, MBAs now that that should come under uh, higher studies so uh, MBAs in India because abroad is very very rare so that this is also done by IITs okay but uh, that consists of very few in number so these are the outcomes and the primary question that most of you ask to us and to yourself that which one should you choose so if uh, you are curious about science discovery basic science research in india abroad then of course you need to go for isc isers nisers and other premier research institutions of india um, iscs cbs are also there because you get the mentorship research ecosystems in these institutes now if you're interested in engineering coding startups and uh, similar domains you can go for iits because you get the industrial links plus placements 
Now, if you're confused between these two, you're interested in uh, basic science research, but you're also open to get placements, uh, but you're open to exploring both of them, I would recommend you to try ISER or ISC BSc. Why? Because in ISER, uh, you also have BTEC courses. Even if you go for BSMS courses or ISC BS courses, they give you opportunities to explore both basic science research as well as industrial applications. Why can I say that? Because the data science, the biotech, uh, the algorithms, the mathematics that you'll be studying in IZERTS as well as ISC Bangalore, you can apply them into industrial jobs and problems. Okay, you can digress a bit into internships, part-time jobs, and you can, you know, digress and uh, completely switch to uh, jobs as well. But if you choose IITs or let's say BTEC courses, then you cannot go towards the research side. So that's the difference. You can go from research to jobs, but cannot go come back, okay? So BTEC to mass science is very rare and very hard, but uh, science to BTEC and application is sort of easier. Now, I would suggest you to keep both of your options open so that your future, even if it is uncertain, you have at least some opportunities. So this is uh, why choose ISC, pure science, research, innovation, you want to pursue MS, PhD abroad or in India and you value academic environment and uh, uh, not just placement hype. So IITs, if you are career focused, you want to get settled in your 20s and aiming for tech industry jobs, by the way, settle is no longer uh, there given the fact that AI and uh, all these things are replacing people actively, but you like coding, engineering, product building, then IITs and tech related courses should uh, be the one you should go for. Now, the real truth, which is not often talked about by people is uh, placement numbers, IIT shine in placement because of large corporate ties and diverse engineering programs. And IISC simply is not either designed for that as well as they don't put much effort as, as much as IIT is towards having students placed. Uh, research impact is where ISC shines in uh, not just India, but across the world and consistently ranked in top 1% of global citations. So what actually matters is what you need to think. For science students, quality of mentorship and research exposure matter more than CETC figures and jobs. Because jobs, any day you can sit, you can learn, uh, for one to two months, you can get placed at very good packages. But uh, for research and uh, academic uh, ecosystem is something you cannot get everywhere. So that has to be curated, precisely decided at very uh, particular places like ISC, ISIS, NISER and other research institutes. Now, industry value employers increasingly value strong conceptual foundations, which is ISC, ISIS graduates are actually trained to excel in, although the placements are not as uh, dominating as IITs in these research institutes, but they are very well capable of it. So that's the point you should take away from this video, that research graduates are capable of placements, although they are not much interested in it, whereas tech graduates are both capable and they are willing to get placements, but they are not capable of doing research. So that's the primary difference you need to keep in your mind and decide accordingly. Now, it's not about IIT's ISC, it's about your goal. What do you want from this? Okay, so science students both have massive opportunities. I have already mentioned. And Siestra, if you're associated with us, Siestra is now a community of more than five lakhs active members. And uh, our students, mentors are spread across the world from MIT, Harvard, Max Planck. Um, in India, we have uh, students and mentors from ISC, IITs, any institute, you name it, we have associations with it. So if you want to uh, join the community, you can check out the description below. And of course, I would like to welcome you here. By the way, if you like this content, this video so far, hype, consider hyping this video up so that uh, it can help us and motivate us to bring more such content for you all. And do subscribe to Siestra English for more such videos on institutes, guidance, strategy, research examinations, and other science and research related information. But if you have any questions, queries, let me know in the comments. I'll answer each one of you uh, personally. With that, uh, see you in the next video. All the very best. Mm -hmm.